guys, it's me up on the roof. And I want to come up here to show you that this was installed in the middle of January over a year ago. And over a year ago. So there's your model. And the reason I'm showing you this video, you see chaos back there still running perfect. That's a thermodyne. Look below the video. I'm going to show you the links to where all this comes from. This thing is a powerhouse. Listen to it. Blades make a wicked look to them here. Watch this here. And you can look at the up close condition of this. Look at the heavy bearings in that thing. Manufacture date on it. Rotor diameter 1.6 meters, so it's a little over, I think a little over five feet. At about 60 something inches, I don't know. But really does produce 100% of what it claims. And the chaos turbine I built, I'm gonna give away my secret right now. So y'all stay tuned to this. I tried to talk the original manufacturer into doing this with this turbine. But these come with either a 14 or a seven magnet. They tried to mimic an alternator. The guy in California, the guy in Florida, the guy in Texas, all of them. But they fucked up. This is a Thermodyne. It is very well built. He uses the best quality uh, bearings in it. Those bearings are AC Delcos. They're not some China knockoff crap. So he uses good ones. These original bearings have been in this thing for, I don't know, four or five years and not need it worked on. So you can see it's Thermodyne. That's my build. I want you to look carefully. The offset build. It allows torque effect at a certain wind speed to push it out of the wind, saving the turbine, my design. Um, probably seen this in my other videos. <laughs> Arriva, Missouri. <laughs> That's where I come from, from the junk pile. Um, but this turbine was built by me. But what I did, and here's my secret, and there's somebody in the Midwest probably gonna freak out when they find out why this produces so much power. And the guy in California too. I took the 14 magnets out. I have water cut the core inside and 12 magnets replaced. So it doesn't cog, look at this, at all, at all, no cog. And produces seven, eight, 900, hell it's hit 1500 watts. Just giving y'all a little update. Now, you're wondering why am I making a video? Am I up here cleaning all the solar panels? No, too lazy for that. Rain's enough. Am I up here wanting to brag on my little China wonder? And they lowered the price. I got mad at them and they lowered the price. But not only did they lower the price, this wonderful little thing. And look how big the PMA is. It goes way back to right in there. It's, it's, man, it's huge, huge. 10 magnet, 10 magnet. The one over there is a 10 magnet also. I did that, water cut it, all the core parts made 10 magnet. That's why it produces six and 700 watts. The ones you buy that look like those, they don't do that. All right, so let's get down here. You'll see the little Winnebago in my other videos. Brought it outside so we can do a clean out, pressure wash. There's my other big rambler. That's an old 76, you see it in my other videos. But you're gonna look below the video and you'll see the links to all the parts and all the pieces. And I'm gonna start doing diagrams on everything. How to build these, and if you wanna buy that exact turbine frame and mount setup that I designed, I'm gonna start making them. Just kits, you wanna buy the motors, PMAs and all that, that's up to you. All right, let's go down. That roof on that shop and that distance was calculated, okay? So I have seven foot, to the hub center. The reason I am is because my roof is a 3.45 by 12 pitch. The compression of the wind using the roof speeds it up. So you can use that technique if you have a 612, real high pitch, you wanna go much higher. You wanna go about nine feet up. If you have a 412, which is pretty common, you wanna be about eight feet up. Now listen carefully, that's how you get compression from your roof 
wind compression, like it going through a narrow opening, uh, Ventura, to make those spin faster and perform better. Because I have the Windy Nation blades on that one and that one over there, I didn't need that, but it still works good. So the folks in China decided, the maker of this, uh, Mr. John, that's really nice. <laughs> and, and, and they contacted me. They said, holy cow, you people are loving these. And I'm, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They work better than any wind turbine I ever purchased. And guys, I'm on the record, I'll tell you, I've installed over 100. Over 100. Not just of these. I put in Bergies, put in Air X's. A lot of sunning. I've done sunning for about four years, sunning wind turbines for about four years. So, with my Missouri pig sticker, veteran owned, um, we're going to open up a newer model. And if you can't read that, it's five blade, 12 volt. Yes, I studied Chinese. Doesn't make me a commie. Means I want to watch what they're doing, right? All right, so ship to, and I got it in like five freaking days. To Twin Falls. That's where I'm at. I love to save that sticker. Isn't that cool? Hmm. Product voltage, 12 volt. It's part of gold. I can read Chinese. I know that sounds crazy. But we're going to get it, and we're going to get this off. FedEx just left out of here. And I'm going to show you the 2019 model that if you've ordered these, you're getting them, and you probably already know what I'm talking about. But I have a problem with that one. And you're going to think that's not a problem, but it makes too damn much power. I've had to increase my diversion loads three times. And we're going to be doing a video on diversion loads very soon, guys. That's coming. Hey, look. A Chinese fly caught. It was in there. I saw it. Okay. All right. There we go. Now we're down to the nitty gritty here. And we're going to, if you go look at my previous video, I got a video coming up or maybe after this one or whatever. Hey, look at that thing. That's freaking cool, isn't it? Okay. This is a salvage barbecue pit thing that I use for, you know, doing crap on. So, uh, let me get a piece of plywood, bigger plywood. Hold on. All right, now, got me a big piece of plywood. Handling. And we're going to roll this thing on over here to get, you your, to get you your best view. Okay. And pull parts out of the box. I'm sorry, this will probably be a long video, and I'm going to get people going, you're a rambler. No, that's a rambler. That's a rambler right there. Um, no, man, if you want to buy some, who's going to spend two, $300 and go, why didn't that guy say that the foam was white? You know, whatever. Um, I'm going to explain everything. When I spend money, I get real pissy when somebody don't put in all the information. So I understand that. But... In this one's case, we have user's manual, familiar turbine. We have shaft key. We have five blade hub, nice. And when I said that the other one above was putting out way too much power, it's because it's a three blade. Five blade will create a torque effect and actually wind wall. That's, that's when the blades are all going so fast. So say you bought an old turbine from eBay and it's got like 10 or 12 blades. It can only go so fast because as soon as all the blades basically become one, they're a wall, wind walling, and the turbine doesn't do anything. And of course, if you buy one from the Midwest, it doesn't do anything anyhow. It doesn't matter if you put a 300 horse V8 on it. All right, so here comes more tools. Kind of nice. Look at that. Reaches in. I didn't see, I didn't get that in my last one. All heavy galvanized bolts and hardware. And looks like stainless steel nuts. Yep, stainless steel. Very good. I can see that by the sheen on it. And it comes with the brand new. Now, this is what's cool. This is what's cool. Brand new 
Now I want to show you here real quick. Let me pause. I'll grab this other one and I'll show you what comes with the competitor's models because I have one. Installed it for a poor guy. So hold on. And poof like magic. Boom. There it is. All right. So that's a competitor model. 600 watt. Yeah. I smoke cigarettes come out of packs bigger than that. All right. So. Yeah, I smoke. I'm sure you know that. All right. Now. That's the new 2019. That is better. Wind generator braking voltage kicks on at 15 which means your inverters won't freak out. Now, let me tell you what I do with this. I'm gonna show you a video where this becomes the braking system, but stay tuned, long video. If you wanna get pissed, go watch cartoons, but I wanna show you something you're gonna learn. Okay, now, and wham, da -da. this rectifier. How does it work? How, well, how does it work? Uh, you could use this, but no. All right, we're not gonna use that. Now, this one, I prefer not to use this one for my power. So, guess what? I actually don't. Now, what I do is I actually take this one and I use just the red and the black wire, red and black wire, on my battery. These two items, boom. So I'll get Tori to open that right quick. And there, thank you, Tori. There she blows. Now, so what we do is we're gonna take a regular 100 amp, be in the material list below, 100 amp rectifier, three phase, two out, positive, negative, and look at your labeling because sometimes they're backwards, decided. All right, okay, so you're gonna connect the positive and the negative. Just like this, you see this? There's the rectifier. Now, from the wind turbine, three wires that will connect from here to any of the three legs of a standard SQL bridge rectifier, like so. But of course, you're gonna run the wire down the pole through something like this. This is SVO cable for a RV, notice the plug. So you can buy this, put a link in there to that. It's actually cheaper to buy the RV cable. Cut the ends off. All right, so just put wire nuts on these. You're not gonna use them. Here's the deal. What it senses for its braking system is the voltage from battery, not the voltage from turbine. So you're gonna then run wire to eight gauge, eight AWG from here to your battery bank. Of course, run it through a fuse like an ANL 100 from here to your battery bank. There, you have now have a diversion braking load system, a high efficiency rectifier. Look at the size of this rectifier. How big do you think it's in here? It's like little diodes. It's not great. Your battery voltage light will work. Your brake light will work. Your charge light will not come on. Don't pay attention to that, doesn't matter. And then you have bypassed this thing here, but you have its braking ability internally, just like. So what it has inside is it has film resistors that are loaded on both sides of these, on both sides, and the diodes are loaded here. And you see they'll come in right here in line for the rectifier. But those diodes in all of them, especially, Emma, not a toy, it's junk, um, especially one of these. So the diodes are tiny, tiny. They're not good for this. They're not good for these. These are powerhouses. So we have what comes with it. Now they're not hard to do. If you can't weld this on, let me give you this thing here. It is big enough that you can take it to a machine shop or a plumber. Go take it to a plumber. He will drill it and tap it for inch and a half pipe threads. You put a three feet of inch and a half pipe on it and it will slip because it's 1.90 OD pipe. It will slip into a piece of two inch pipe. Now, the reason I say two inch pipe, you want to use the EMT rigid schedule 40 Home Depot, 10 foot sections. They sell them, I don't know, 40 bucks. You want to use that because this sucker is, makes a lot of power. 
and you want stability. Um, you can use inch and a half pipe, but this ain't some junk crap out of Missouri. It's actually real turbine. So there's the blades and the blades come as five. And they're not little guys. Look at the size of these blades. And the styrofoam pellets, they're free. They don't charge you for the bits of styrofoam. So these run about 300 bucks now. Apparently I screwed up and got one for 220 something dollars and thought, eh, I'll give it a shot. Um, comes with a good nose cone with double clips on it. So that really does stay on there. And people go, so you don't need a nose cone. I don't know, get snow packed in one side of this. It's like totally out of balance. You don't want that or dirt, whatever. You want the nose cone. This is designed to be cooling. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, my hand is a large hand. You can tell by looking at what I'm covering. <laughs> Complete rectifier and controller with one hand. Now, I want you to look at this PMA. This is huge. The motor PMA, permanent magnet alternator, actually goes back a good solid two and three quarters inches further back, which makes this about 25% larger in in uh, wiring and mass than even the ones I have up there. Now you look at uh, Chaos, she's barely turning. The little China Wonder is just going. I hate the fact that America can't build these guys. But for the time being, this is what you've got. This is what they are. And this one was shipped out as a 2019 prototype. And the link below will lead you to these turbines. And you guys, man, Install them right, install them high. Don't install them near the ground. Don't install them on a ladder. Don't install them in a tree. And if you've got trees nearby, you need to be about 150 feet away from tree mass. And these things will make a ton of power. Your power is gonna be stored in batteries. It's produced up to 75 volts. However, it's 75 volts um, for a 12 volt model up to 100 volts for a 24 volt model, but don't flip out. It actually is rectified like a transformer. You know, you plug in a wall and drops the volt. It's actually rectified, and then against the battery load, it produces the battery's charge necessity. That's it. Now, you get one with that controller. You see the beginning of it, or you see my part in the video where I explain this part. There's your braking system, and they work good. You can actually, I could, I could put both of these on here if I needed to. In my case, as much wind as I get, I might need to. All right, folks, there you go. The best wind turbine that I have ever installed um, for the price, for the price. Uh, I'll say that uh, there's other ones that are probably better, but for the price, very easy to do. And when they say 500 watts, you better be ready to get a thousand. That's what these will do. All right, guys. Thank you.